everybody, I want to wheeze them here just after midnight. Super Tuesday is wrapped up, it is now March 2nd, and that means it is Texas Independence Day. So, uh, happy Texas Independence Day. What we're going to do here, introduction number 35. Uh, I am hoping to get this cranked out and then move on with the uh, blind playthrough, just simply for the fact I really want to get back on that. But uh, we've had a lot of stuff happen to us, we've had a lot of inundation of new characters. Uh, the Land Race Action Pack, our Spring Edition Skylanders, the Power of Blue Skylanders, and this past weekend I was finally able to track down Bone Bash Roller Brawl. Roller Brawl, if you did not know, one of my favorite characters from Skylander Swap Force. Uh, actually, I really like the custom uh, Skylander. I did it for Heartbreaker Roller Brawl. So, uh, Swap Force, of course, with Vicarious Visions and Trap Team. She was not brought back. And here we have another Vicarious Visions produced game in Superchargers. And luckily, we got Roller Brawl. I thought they would have brought back Starstrike. Uh, the two, they seemed uh, pretty enamored with her, but uh, I'm stoked they brought back Roller Brawl. Now, uh, her signature vehicle is the Tomb Buggy. We were able to pick it up and on sale at $9.99 for both the uh, figure and vehicle. Which, realistically, that's not a bad price for them, you know. But uh, we won't focus too much on that. What I do want to say, though, uh, if you're still looking for her like I am, or was for the longest time, both Roller Brawl and the Tomb Buggy have chase variants. These aren't, you know, like our Power Blues or our Spring Editions or Alt Deco in-game variants. These are the good old-fashioned OMG, it's Silver Boomer <laughs> type of a thing. So uh, a lot of people seem to be having luck finding her. Uh, you know, in both standard and chase form. So basically what that tells me is there's either a whole, whole bunch of the chase variants, um, or since they came out right when she did, maybe the store employees aren't, you know, like as keen to pick up on it. Who knows? But uh, just be aware, if you're looking for her still, you might also comb for variants. That said, let's go ahead and get Bone Batch Ruler Brawl onto the portal for the very first time. She's not even out of her packaging yet, so uh, we will unbox her very soon. But Let's roll! All right, that art... Ooh, she's quick. That's uh, artwork there. The bones are kind of like more of a... I guess it's consistent with the Hand of Fate color. Um, I would have preferred more of like a straight-up white. <laughs> you know, like the uh, skeleton in the closet in your uh, middle school classroom type of white. I'm fighting off a sneeze right now is what's going on. And I think we're going to pull through... <laughs> <laughs> All right, we made it, but uh, there she is, and again, I've got high expectations for her. I hope that doesn't, like, dampen things if she doesn't deliver, but we're in the squeaky chair. That means we're opening up the spreadsheet, which is here. There it is. All right, undead. Da -da -dun. Here we go. So let's come in and do her stats first. Check me out. Oh, we will. <laughs> All right, so right after we take a look at your stats. All right, so max health 220 again. That's pretty much what you expect from undead characters. Is you know fairly low initial health. Uh, speed 50. I don't for the life of me. <laughs> it's like as much as I love all these like stat boosts and everything, they get kind of annoying when you're trying to document things. Cause then you're like, oh 32 sweet, and you're like, wait, we have to take you know 20 off of that. So armor will be 12, speed 50. Uh, critical hit will be six. That's actually fairly high for a pock stock uh, Skylander. And then elemental power will log it at 25. So, uh, health 220, speed 50, armor 12. That is correct, right? Yes, that's nice. Uh, which that makes sense. She's kind of wearing some padding. Critical hit six. All right, let's compare her with Fiesta. Not frightful, just straight up. The cool thing with the undead element, there is legendary Bone Bash Roller Brawl, which I've not found either. And uh, she should have slightly, you know, padded stats compared to her standard counterpart. But the bottom line is, if you're a big fan of the undead element, if you're a fan of Fiesta or Roller Brawl in particular, you can pick up, you know, an alt deco figure, have both paths available at all times type of a thing. So... Uh, that said, just going straight old school Fiesta here, not frightful. He takes the health department by plus 10 margin, 230 to 220. Speed, they break even. 
armor, you know how I feel about armor, plus six for Bone Bash Roller Brawl. I'll take that over 10 health any day. Uh, that's, that is a big deal. Uh, critical hit, six to four, so that's uh, plus two in favor of Bone Bash Roller Brawl. And ultimately, plus six armor, plus two critical hit gives her a plus eight. And then Fiesta has the plus 10 from health, so if you just do a numerical standpoint, it would be plus 2 Fiesta over uh, Bone Bash Roller Brawl. However, if you consider that the armor is where she has plus 6, that right there tilts it in her favor, in my opinion. Just for kicks and giggles, Frightful Fiesta has 255 as his base health, so that's a plus 35. That's somewhat significant. One more hit, if you will. And his critical hit is 6, so that ties them up there. But where she reigns supreme, she's got a plus 6 on the armor over Frightful as well. He comes in there, box stock at 6. So, uh, we have taken care of that. Let's go ahead now and uh, take a look at her background story. Slogan, if you forgot, it is Let's Roll. Roller Bra grew up with five older vampire brothers who were all very big and overprotective. Being the smallest of her family, she learned how to use her speed and cunning to become one of the toughest jammers in the Undead Roller Derby League. It was during the championship match when she caught the eye of Chaos, who had fallen head over heels in love with her. If you did not know, this is where I drew the inspiration for Heartbreaker Roller Brawl. You know, our custom painted Skylander. So, things I do tend to have multiple meanings there, do they not? <laughs> But when her overprotective brother stepped in, Chaos had them captured by Dro and taken prisoner. Roller Brawl swore revenge, but even with her impressive skills, she was no match for an entire Dro army. Having developed a strong distaste for evil, she joined up with the Skylanders to fight against Chaos while never giving up on her search for her brothers. You can't tell me that's not a side story we should explore at some point in time. I keep waiting for this to happen. Like, have a personal quest. <laughs> you know, even if they evolve it over multiple games, like Igniter has to go and hunt down the sorcerers, Hex has to go back, yada yada, you get the idea. I think... Which Undead levels are unquestionably the best levels, in my opinion, going all the way back to SSA and T-Bone. Uh, this has gone into full-on triad mode, but <laughs> I'm telling you this for a reason. Moving forward with a game, I again, personally, I also like the SSA layout where the levels were sort of like elementally aligned. You know, you sort of had like, ooh, the Undead levels, ooh, the Fire levels, wow, the Water levels, you know, so on and so forth. I think that's a very logical way to do things, and I think that each of those should then be expanded upon. In the case of Roller Brawl, you can't tell me that people wouldn't want to take Spyro, Roller Brawl, Hex, Fiesta, Night Shift, whoever it may be, and battle vampires, right? And then when we're in, like, the air element levels, you can't tell me people don't want to fight, like, flying dragons and griffins and, you know, just... It's so simplistic, yet it's not executed, <laughs> you know? Uh, that's my thoughts, anyway. But uh, we're going to move on here. We've covered her slogan. Again, let's roll. We've got her uh, bio covered for you. There's my attack damage spreadsheet. And her... Okay, that is not correct. <laughs> we'll fix that. Let's take a look at her, though. Very, very cool, very aggressive. Again, my biggest complaint with Bone Bash Roller Brawl she wasn't released around Halloween, you know. I realize, you know, it's a chick, she could work as a spring release, yada yada, but come on, man. You know, do that with splats, <laughs> do it with someone else. Not the undead chick, you know. Like, it was great, we got to play as Fiesta around Halloween, the frightful Fiesta, super cool. Just go ahead and release them. You know, front load them, hold back a tech or a magic Skylander for the spring. I think that should be a given. That moving forward in any Skylanders game, I don't care if there's five undead figures. You know, they move the roster up to five. If it's four, if it's two, whatever. At launch, or before Halloween, depending on when the game is released, just let us have all the undead characters. I think they would ultimately sell more that way. You know, if you had to look at it from the pure bottom dollar perspective, but uh, that's my thoughts, and I, I've stuck to that, I've been adamant about it, and I remain <laughs> adamant about it. Note, she's got some pretty funky idle animations this time. I don't remember her having those 
last time. It's sort of like she's getting antsy, sort of tapping the skates. Maybe they're a size too small. Who knows? <laughs> I like the hair flip, though, the best. Uh, let's go ahead back out of there. We want to go over her upgrades here. So keep in mind, even though we've never had a Series 2 Roller Brawl, we've never seen her with a wow pow, yada yada, this is a situation where while she's from Swap Force, she's pretty much brand new, if you will, uh, at least compared to like, you know, your Rupters, Terrafins, Trigger Happies of the world. Uh, she kind of falls in a unique spot because those characters that have had two, three, four, five reposes, she's never had the series two. And so instead of coming in and having the exact same moveset plus a wow pile like you're kind of accustomed to, she also got the supercharger treatment, which is totally new and reimagined upgrades. So this is kind of a big deal. It uh, should be interesting. But uh, Up first is Derby Duke. Press X to slash nearby enemies with your fang blades. After that, our uh, secondary attack is fingering. This is going to be a win. <laughs> oh, yes. Uh, press B to extend your fang blades and throw them out at enemies. Press X while the fang blades are out to... Oh, wow. Okay, so if you did not know, I like boomerangs. Uh, hence, Dino Ring being one of my favorite characters. But also, uh, projectiles. When we take... And she kind of had, you know, the blades last time. But if we could get some pretty good distance out of these or like a rapid fire rate if the damage isn't good either of those I would be pretty happy with so these next four will be her base upgrades we've got love bites portal master mom said this is a very cute upgrade for me I don't know if that's good or bad <laughs> but, uh, as long as it does good damage or something I'll be okay so keep in mind all the price is reflective of my tin wing sapphire 20% max discount so 400 is the cost Press B while finger rings are thrown. <laughs> Someone's going to totally mispronounce that. Uh, so while they're thrown, press B to blow a fangy vam... Oh, that's ironic. We're using her to battle chaos. Uh, blow a fangy vampire kiss at enemies. Enemies hit by the kiss will be weakened and have... Oh, that's awesome. Now that's a well-thought-out attack. And it may be cute, like Portal Master Mom said, but it's also very fitting of a vampire chick, so uh, that is cool. Up next, Skate is going to skate for 560. Press Y to skate faster. Awesome. Once again, what do I like? Speed and armor. If we can dash or we can increase speed, things are merry and wonderful in the world. So press Y to skate faster and extend your fang blades while doing... That's worded weird while doing so, which damages enemies that get in your way. <laughs> Alright. Press Y to skate faster and extend your fang blades while doing... Man, I would totally have structured that sentence differently, or that statement differently, but basically, if we press Y, I assume multiple times, I don't think it'd work if we hold it down, I guess she will kind of increase her speed and momentum and simultaneously increase the reach of the fang blades. Very cool. That will probably be her personal quest. Our first one from Buzz, we'll have to wait and see. Uh, after that, we've got Derby damage. Derby Duke attacks now do more damage. All is fair in the Derby. All right, so that's cool. We've got the tertiary. We've got an upgrade that goes on while in the secondary. Now we've got the primary covered. And crossover technique for 960. Fingering seek out other targets after the first before returning. Okay, so it's sounding like if they hit something, they come back type of a deal. Who knows? We'll have to figure it out. Top path is going to be, I believe, Brawler Derby. Is that going to be right? Yes, Brawler Derby Path. Keep the enemy on their toes with aggressive upgrades that favor mobility. Awesome. So jam time is up first. Hold Y while skating to launch yourself like a missile, damaging any enemy in the way. After that, a serious substitute. Is that a hockey stick? Maybe not, but it looks like one. Maybe that was intentional. Who knows? Fang blades become more powerful and will do more damage to enemies. And lastly, always wear a helmet. Hold X to do an explosive headbutt. That's using your head. So, that actually sounds pretty cool. Not gonna lie. Coming down here, eat pavements. Hold... Well, actually, what is this path? It is the Waller Derby path. 
Shrug off enemy attacks with upgrades that favor defense and range. Ooh, the dichotomy. <laughs> okay. Uh, it's looking like I'm going to need to track down Legendary Roller Brawl after all. Uh, this is one of those instances where her standard form aesthetically would just obliterate that. Although I haven't seen it in person, but just the conceptual drawings, the artwork, what I've seen, you know, like on listings and things online, standard. Uh, which again, undead, you know, the legendary color scheme, not really my thing. Uh, stat boost, yes, color gold, no. <laughs> it's, uh, we shall see. Eat pavement. Hold Y to tear up the pavement and damage all enemies in front of you. Could be interesting. Uh, after that, you've got the blocker... How would you pronounce that? Boutfit? <laughs> Boofit? Buffit? I don't know. That's probably some, like, ballet terminology. Who knows? Uh, your armor bulks up and reduces enemy damage. I hope that's a measured... You know, like, she's at 12 right now, I hope she goes to 24 type of a thing. I hope it's, like, something we can actually outline in that manner. Uh, and then we've got Contagious Kiss. When Love Bites connects, it will explode in the smaller vampire kisses that can be... that can bite, weaken, and drain surrounding enemies. Pretty cool. It looks like the Soul Gem. <laughs> it's gonna be fun. 3200. Roller Brawl's rage grows over time. When she is at maximum rage, hold B to unleash her fury on nearby enemies. So that's brawling about. That one we'll actually have to see. I thought it was looking like it was going to be something to do with the kisses or something. Maybe it will be. Maybe it'll be a fury, furious flurry of kisses. <laughs> Who knows? But uh, she's looking like she's going to be pretty dadgum cool, which is exactly what I had hoped for. So let's come in here and get a feel for her speed first off. Pretty quick, actually, believe it or not. Primary attack, which again, that is the Derby Duke. <coughs> oh, that has a nice range. Oh, and she's got the combo board. You know, like Thrillipede, we just have punch, 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 punch. And there's never like a uppercut combo or, you know, one punch, two punch, three punches, a slam in the ground or something. With her, when you rapid tap, you get, you know, left hand, right hand, and it's the combo. <coughs> Secondary attack is the finger. <coughs> this is cool. <laughs> oh yeah, the range on these is ridiculous. They sort of like go out like at angles of a triangle, and then they kind of like meet back and come back down the middle. If that may, that probably doesn't make any sense, but. <laughs> Very interesting. Let's actually see it break this crate. Oh yeah. <laughs> uh -huh. Okay. I could get used to this. It's a primary. Man, I wish I had the tertiary attack <laughs> right now. As we go sailing back over here, but uh, we'll we'll take it nice and slow. Uh, make our way back to assess the damage as we go. Uh, let's check out her. Okay, kind of like a uh, <laughs> mid '90s roller roller blade commercial. We're going down to the skating rink that doesn't exist in our town, type of a thing. People that grew up in the '90s probably know what I'm talking about. There's like the kid and he's grinding a rail and he jumps and does this fancy trick and then you and your friends try it and they face plant and <laughs> you know uh, strange things but uh, primary attack here 20 nice 20 to 30 and then let's see if we get combo damage Ooh. or is that a standard 30 yeah so the combo should be 30 to 45 let's see if we can see a 45 ever Possibly, maybe. 
So essentially 20 to 30, and when you see 30 fired off without the critical, that's how I know that there should be a 45. Even if it is extremely unlikely with this critical hit multiplier. <laughs> uh, we're just gonna log it. Uh, it should happen eventually. So, uh, 20, 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, equal 20, 2, not 20 L, 20 to 30, 3 equals 30 to 45. And then her secondary attack, let's take a look at it. Oh, what? <laughs> that didn't hit? Okay, so 30. And we should get a 45. Somewhat of an annoyance. I'm not sure what they're doing. <laughs> Come on. Okay, well, we know that the boomerangs are going to be 30 to 45. <laughs> Boomer aims 30 to 45. And then we can punch right with the primary attack. Oh, yeah. She's kicking, too, isn't she? I think she is. Oh, yeah. She'll wreck people. There was a 45. Did you see it? What a glorious sight. Oh, man. I don't think we'd ever have that actually show up. Okay, so, uh... Then we'll just do punches. That's actually pretty cool. Uh, why she does 20 to 30 with her fang blades and the bare fist punch, I don't know. <laughs> but hey, uh, that's actually very nice additional damage, which is what we care about the most. So, we're gonna make our way over here. Not talk to us. And uh, we are going to unleash a green We'll take this guy out. Alright, time to see what you made of. Take out Did you see the 45? <laughs> I did. I had to retreat or we were going to knock him out of the arena. Okay, so the 45 is actually showing up now. That was once again all primary. Now we're going to go all secondary if possible. Which it's kind of... Going straight. Oh, hey. They're hitting him multiple times. Okay, so that was straight secondary. And now what we'll do is we will throw the boomerangs, and while they're hopefully flying around and hitting, I will also unleash our, you know, just open fist punches. <laughs> and kicks. Whoops, let's let him come back. Alright, so I'm just going to chuck these over here. She's got a nice dat- Ooh, yeah. We still don't have boomerangs. Okay, they're back. So check this out. No, go away. Uppercut, wow. She's an awesome Skylander, I have to say. Uh, let's see now, we need to check and make sure we have like a don't do or don't have a jump attack. So we're gonna jump and press X. Oh, no way. I bet a lot of people don't even know this is a thing. Okay, that's gotta do some damage. Right? Oh yeah, 20 to 32 times. Sweet. <laughs> Oh, that's great. That is so great. And that is with the primary attack, keep in mind. So, um, da -da -da. Let me put that, I guess, on the primary. So. Jump attack. 20 to 32 times. Oh, sweet. Now, when we jump and do our secondary attack, what happens? Okay, we just throw them. Now, can we come in and... No. Whenever you've thrown the boomerangs, fingerings, I should say, um, she's not going to actually, I think, be able to do any damage from a jump with the secondary attack button being pressed. Uh, it looks cool. It looks like she's grinding a rail, but it does not do damage. So... Uh, that said, that is about all we need to do here for Bone Patch Roller Brawl and her first quest. Not first quest, but her introduction. So, 
getting ahead of myself, I am very shortly going to uh, talk to Buzz and get her quest underway. So that should be pretty fun. So should her supercharged challenge be. Again, if you're wanting to see the tomb buggy, we will introduce it when we do her second quest. That format's kind of turned out to work quite well. And uh, we'll log its attack damage, all that good stuff in the video. But right now, I think I'm actually going to move on. I think we were going to go to what, like... Uh, some demo derby, which is why I was really excited that I had found uh, Roller Brawl. It sounded like a good level for her. So uh, I might actually record her Quest 1 introduction and then kind of move on into that. But basically, where we left off, we need to go save Glumshanks and that uh, Pandergast guy. This is like, you can win him. <laughs> you know, type of a thing. So uh, anyway, you think, is anyone charging him rent or like a setup fee? Because you would think that would sort of offset, right? But uh, anyway, we will go try to rescue Glumshanks, and we now have Power Blues, Double Dare, Trigger Happy from the Land Race Action Pack, the Spring Editions, and the Lady of the Hour, uh, Bone Bash Roller Ball, to uh, help us out there. So stay tuned for that. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you learned a little something. If so, leave a like, leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on Bone Bash Roller Ball. She a must own for you. Does he just seem like a meh Skylander? Uh, are you stoked because they're standard and legendary forms? If so, which one do you prefer and why? Uh, whatever you want to talk about, feel free to discuss it in the comments section. You can follow me on Twitch, follow me on Twitter, like me on Facebook, serve me on Google+, Plus, whichever you prefer. Check out the Skylander Club forum at skylanderclub.com. Sign up, we'd love to have you. Similarly, you can check out my personal site, moonweasel.com. But for myself and the Phoenix Leap,